हेलो एवरी वन आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर हैविंग अ लवली डे नमस्ते इंडिया वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो हियर आई एम विद यट अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग रेसिपी फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू सो विंटर सीजन हैज स्टार्टेड एंड एवरी विंटर सीजन आई प्रिपेयर एनर्जी बॉल्स फॉर माई केयर्स और इन हिंदी वी से ड्राई फ्रूट्स लड्डूज लड्डू इज अ हिंदी वर्ड सो दीज एनर्जी बॉल्स विल कीप योर केयर्स फुल फॉर टू टू थ्री आवर्स Uh, so either you can use these energy balls early in the morning as breakfast with a cup of milk or with a glass of milk uh, or you can use as snack so it's going to be a very quick easy and healthy breakfast or snack for your kids and even for grown ups so without further ado let's get started step by step recipe stay tuned so for preparing uh, these energy balls all i need is Uh, dry fruits so in dry fruits i am using walnuts unsalted cashews so uh, i am using 1 cup of walnuts 1 cup of uncash uh, unsalted cashews 1 cup of uh, little less than 1 cup of chironji uh, i'm not sure if chironji is uh, only an indian nut or uh, we get here in usa as well so if you don't get uh, if you don't find it in any uh, local store so you can buy it from any indian or asian grocery store or you can totally skip it it's up to you and then i'm using 1 cup of almonds and then i'm using 1 cup of homemade desi ghee or clarified butter and 1 cup of coconut powder and then i'm using 2 cups of old fashioned oats 2 cups of uh, chickpea flour or besan so um, besan specifically i am using laddu besan like i told you laddu is a hindi word so you can find this uh, chickpea flour in indian or asian grocery store and uh, then i am using 2 to 3 cups of uh, uh, popped lotus seeds so in hindi we say makhana and the english word is popped lotus seeds so these popped lotus seeds i bought from uh, indian grocery store and then i'm using sugar so um, i have bought this uh, organic cane sugar from costco and all these dry fruits that you are seeing here all these are uh, organic and i have bought all of these from uh, costco costco wholesale store other than these chironjis these are bought uh, from indian grocery store so now i will uh, proceed to step by step recipe so here i have this heavy bottom uh, frying pan and i'm heating it on medium flame and i'm adding 1 tablespoon of homemade desi ghee in it or clarified butter and now i will roast all these dry fruits on uh, medium flame so make sure you roast these uh, dry fruits on medium to low flame not on high flame or else they won't be uh, roasted nicely but they will be burned i'm roasting these uh, almonds for 2 uh, to 3 minutes and it will be done So after two to three minutes, almonds have changed color. Now these are little darker side. That means they are nicely roasted. Now I will transfer these almonds in this uh, utensil and let them cool down. And now I will roast these cashews in the same pan again for uh, two to three minutes. on medium flame and after 2 and 1/2 minutes my cashews are also ready now i will transfer these cashews in the same pan now i will add these walnuts in the same pan and again roast for 2 to 3 minutes on medium flame so 
so for roasting these uh, dry fruits we don't need too much ghee one uh, tablespoon ghee is more than enough because these dry fruits have a natural uh, fat as well so after 2 to 3 minutes my walnuts are also ready as you can see these are changing color so now again i will transfer these in the same utensil and now i will add 1 tablespoon of clarified in the same pan and uh, we'll roast these pop lotus seeds on uh, low flame not on medium flame low flame because these are super super light and might burn if i will roast them on medium flame so once they will start changing color will be ready and as you can see uh, lotus seeds have changed color from white to a uh, golden brown so now i will transfer these seeds or makhanas in a separate plate and i will let all these dry fruits cool down for 10 to 15 minutes meanwhile in the same pan i will uh, dry roast these old fashioned oats same again on uh, medium flame and i will roast these oats until the color is golden brown so in total it will take 6 to 7 minutes to roast nicely as you can see the color has changed now it's rich golden color so i will transfer these oats in a plate and let it cool down and in the same pan i will roast this chickpea flour again it will take 6 to 7 minutes so i will roast it until golden brown while roasting everything here we need to keep in mind that we roast it on a medium flame to roast nicely and not to burn everything or else there will be a bitter taste in energy balls so once the chickpea flour will be roasted nicely it will give you a nice aroma you will feel it that it's done so we don't have to be in hurry we have to make these energy balls by taking sufficient time and trust me it's worth it because you are not making it for a single day but these energy balls will be good for 2 to 3 weeks So spending around 40 minutes is worth it for making these energy balls. Now in the same pan I will dry roast this coconut powder. So 2 to 3 minutes will be okay. So 
I will roast it for two to three minutes and it will change its color completely to brown. As you can see, it started changing color and the aroma is heavenly. It's just amazing. Now, I will switch off the flame and roast it for another minute. And now, I'm roasting these chiramjis. So, one to two minutes will be more than sufficient to roast these because these are very light and take less time. Meanwhile, everything is cooling down. I'm boiling this one cup of water and then I will let it cool down. This water will be used for binding energy balls because I'm not using excessive clarified butter or ghee. Okay, so everything is roasted nicely and cooled down completely. And these dry fruits and these oats. So now I will blend it to a coarse powder in this blender. The point is we have to hide all the dry fruits and all the ingredients because I have picky eaters and they don't love eating dry fruits other than almond they don't eat anything and I'm adamant to eat them so I hide all the healthy ingredients in these energy balls so they eat happily now I have dumped everything in this big utensil. Now I'll be adding sugar. So I'm adding two cups of sugar. And I have used this cup for measuring. And now I'll be adding this clarified butter. mix it properly for mixing mixing this mixture I will use my hands because I'm comfortable if you are not uh, comfortable using your hands so you can use any spatula but I'm comfortable so I'm doing it with my hands I will mix it nicely so I have used uh, two cups of sugar in total because my kids don't love too much sweet you can add sugar as per your taste so before after mixing before making balls you can taste the sweetness if you find it less you can add more mixed nicely now I need to add little water so that I can bind my energy balls so I didn't add a lot of water I just needed little bit of water so that I can bind these energy balls or let loose so why I'm calling these uh, energy balls because it provides a lot of energy and uh, keeps kids uh, stomach full for two to three hours and uh, the shape of these chunks is like a ball as you can see now I have mixed it nicely now I will start making balls I am shaping them like a ball and we need to shape them gently otherwise they will be hard and now and that's how I will shape all these energy balls and then I will store them in an airtight container in room temperature and they will be good for uh, two to three weeks or maybe more than that Here is the final result. Now I will store all of these energy balls in this airtight container and I'm all sorted for next two to three weeks 
for my kids breakfast this is it about today's recipe i hope you liked it if you like my recipe please do like share and subscribe my channel for such more simple yet interesting recipes simple yet interesting kids friendly recipes thank you so much for watching i'll see you next with one more uh, interesting recipe till then take very good care of yourself be happy stay safe stay healthy and spread positivity thank you so much for watching namaste india stay tuned